Hi, I'm Alex Hudrus from Bold Method. We've had a lot of questions about flight instruments, so today we decided to take a look at the vertical speed indicator. You may call it the VSI, some people call it a vertical velocity indicator, or a VVI, but whatever you call it, they work the same way. They're directly attached to your static system, which means they work by sensing outside ambient air, and they've got a few key components. The first is a diaphragm. That's just a complicated word for a metal container that's directly attached to your static line. The second is the case, and that's also attached to your static line, but it's attached through a little calibrated leak, another fancy term for a small hole that doesn't let the air pressure change immediately. The diaphragm expands and contracts, and as it moves, it turns some gears and some rods, which causes the needle on the front of the VSI to move up or down. So let's take a look at a scenario where you're climbing. As you climb, the outside air pressure starts to decrease, and that decrease happens immediately in the diaphragm. But the calibrated leak in the case doesn't let the air escape right away, and so now the case is at a higher pressure than the diaphragm. That causes the diaphragm to squeeze. It gets smaller, causing the VSI's needle to move up. The descent's the exact opposite. As you descend, the outside air pressure begins to increase. That increase happens immediately in the diaphragm, but the case doesn't let its air escape right away, and so now the case is at a lower pressure than the diaphragm, and the diaphragm begins to expand. That causes the VSI's needle to swing down. A VSI gives you two different kinds of information. It gives you trend information immediately, and then rate information as it stabilizes. And the problem comes down to that calibrated leak. It takes it a few seconds to stabilize. So if you see your needle starting to move, it's moving up or it's moving down, it's giving you trend information. If it's swinging up, it tells you that your climb rate is increasing. If it's swinging down, it tells you your climb rate is decreasing. Once it's stabilized out at a specific number, now you know your rate. So in this case, you're climbing at 200 feet per minute. Gliders use a very accurate, highly sensitive form of a VSI so that they can find a thermal. They call it a variometer. But that's a lesson for another video.